I'm Chris Byrer. I'm a professor of epidemiology at Johns Hopkins, the Bloomberg School of Public Health, and I'm the president of the International AIDS Society. The PrEP optimism uh, is driven by the results of the PrEP science. So what we've been having is now a number of trials uh, and a number of demonstration projects which are all telling us the same thing, which is that this is a highly effective intervention that works if people use it. Uh, and uh, if people use it and want to use it, uh, it can really dramatically reduce their risk of HIV infection. Uh, we have a great deal of data now from men who have sex with men, particularly young men who have sex with men, uh, but also from transgender women uh, in Bangkok, uh, among men and women who inject drugs, uh, but also people of all genders, heterosexual, uh, MSM, uh, who are in discordant couples where either the husband or the wife uh, is living with HIV and the partner is seronegative. And for all those populations, there's consistent evidence of efficacy. Uh, so that's very encouraging and that says to us that now the time to begin to implement this intervention uh, is upon us. What we have really good efficacy for is condoms uh, and PrEP. The reality is that not everybody is using condoms and when we look particularly in Asia at the epidemics among specifically young MSM, what we see is that condom use rates are, are quite low and HIV incidence, the rate of new infections among these young men is extremely high. Uh, so we need a new intervention in addition to the condom and the one that we have now that we know works if people use it is PrEP, oral PrEP. I think now is the time for the MSM community to mobilize around HIV prevention. Uh, we know that everybody is mobilized around some very important human rights and social justice and equality goals, but it's also important to understand that HIV is a huge health disparity for MSM, gay and bisexual men in the Asia Pacific, and to put pressure on governments for access to PrEP. There needs to be community demand and community pressure for this to happen. And it's a critical part of getting control of the epidemic. It's also very important that what we've learned now from people who've been on PrEP is the decrease in fear, the decrease in anxiety, and the increase in the feeling of taking control of your own life, taking control of your body, and reducing HIV risk. And that's just such an important part uh, of really feeling well uh, about ourselves uh, as gay men and being able to live full, productive uh, uh, lives uh, and taking care and protecting the people we love.